It's your boy, Step Back Mikey, in the flesh. Yes, we got to go in because we got to go in. We got a problem in Miami, all right? There's a big problem for the East Coast in Miami. You know, this ninja right here really has to step back on some of the comments made on the Brooklyn Nets. There's a big problem here that I don't think anyone's noticing with the first place team. If you don't know basketball or you don't watch it, you're assuming Kevin Durant and Curry take it or Embiid and Harden take it. But when you look at the dynamics of the Miami Heat and all they bring to the table from one to ten, I didn't say one to five. I said one through ten, maybe eleven. We got a problem. (laughs) We got a big problem here, guys. That number one spot is not for nothing. They got all the tools. Oladipo is now back. He looked damn good on the third, which was yesterday night. Looked damn fucking good, man. And now we got the confidence of you're my hero. You got that going. You got Duncan Robinson, Max Struess, an unknown unknown, a damn 3-6 Mafia, you know, the most known unknown ninja, you know. Then you got, bam, another all-star, Jimmy Butler, Kyle Larry. Guys, uh, you may have a five all-star team. When I'm talking about all-stars, guys that potentially could make an all-star team, Hero is there with, with, with me now, bro. After he had the kid and, and, and the stability and a relationship, it looks good for here. He looking good. No homo. All right? he does, that's just facts. And I'm arguing right now. This is the title of the video. Brooklyn Nets don't want no smoke with the Miami Heat. And they better do everything in their power to try to line up with the Milwaukee Bucks. This team is loaded at all cylinders. The one thing that they're missing is a little bit of height. But however, Dwayne Dedman is a seven-footer. And I think he can do the job against some of the better guys like MB, as well as uh, I like Brooke Lopez out of the Bucks. I think I think Brooke Lopez is strongly overlooked, even though now in his career he's re- regulated the three point shots. Remember, this guy was an all star with the Brooklyn Nets, had some, some tremendous years. Now back to the Heat, back to the problem that we got at hand. Okay, the fact of the matter is they're too deep. And they'll capitalize on any of your mistakes. They play defense. You got there, Mr. Morris. Remember the muscle man? They still got him, right? Matter of fact, let's get to the roster. They got your boy right there, the uh, uh, the the the, the un- most unknown, another most unknown with Max Struess, the center, number 77. We're going to get to his name in a second. Who can shoot the ball, who can dunk. It's, it's just crazy to me um, the amount of, uh, I would say, scouting that the Miami Heat bring to the table. They, they, they are probably the top of the charts with regards to scouting and picking up players that fit a role. Brooklyn has a lot of big names on their squad, a lot of big names that we remember growing up, Blake Griffin, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. These guys were super time all-stars. I hope they're ready during the playoffs. They really haven't utilized Blake Griffin as much as they should. Not sure why. But in my opinion, in my opinion, because of the amount of three-point shooting ability on a consistent basis, not Scotty Mills or, you know, Malcolm Tom, Cam Thomas, right? Not those guys. They're inconsistent. They're streaky. You know, they're streaky and off and on. On, on Miami, there is no off and on. Now, J- J- Mr. Harris, Joe Harris would have made a, quite a big difference, I think, adding him to the roster for the for the Brooklyn Nets as a short-fire three-point shooter. But right now, it's just Seth Curry. You know, Kyrie at times and Kevin. That's that should be enough in, in, in normal years. But now when another team has about five of those strike uh, sharp shooters, they're gonna knock your lights off. Even the center can do you some damage outside of Dwayne Dedman and Bammy, right? Number 77, or Gerg, I can't pronounce his name, is the guy that oh my oh Lord. No, he didn't. Oh shit. Okay, Oladipo's back, guys. Did you see that? Sheesh. <laughs> Woo! Even the Bulls is in trouble, my dude. Oh my God! Let's see here. Let's see what we got. What the fuck is he doing? Who was that? 
you, you're you're cut. Oh, that was I was young. What's his name? Young don't got no more knees left. He's old as ass. Anyway, Caleb Martin is another one, right? Caleb Martin is another one. Let's get to the roster, man. Let's just get busy and be honest with ourselves. As we look at the game on the bottom, Lakers on the brink of elimination. Yeah, we're going to go there in a second, lame ass. Come on, bro. Woo. Come on. Woo. Miami Heat. So this is where they stand, all right? Brooklyn has to get move up. They have to try to sneak into that ace block and take over for Atlanta. They need to. It is a must. So they have a playing game versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, okay? And it'll be, you know, Cleveland versus Brooklyn, you know. And, and by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if Cleveland took it. I'm just being straight up. Then Brooklyn would have to face the winner of the uh, Boston, beating up Boston, right? Boston versus the uh, – no, I'm, I'm sorry. I lied to you. That's not true. Whoever's here is going to face Miami, guys. Wow. That's that's just a shame. I'm not going to lie to you. That's just a crying shame, bro. Wow. Miami. Miami has a tough role. They got a lot of tough teams on the bottom. And any of these teams could beat them. And they could definitely beat any of these teams. It's just so crazy how tight the, the East Coast is. It's really the really surprised team that surprised everyone was Toronto. They're not supposed to be there. You know, Toronto's really not supposed to be there. Um, so that's the issue. However, however, um, with Miami and their roster, we're going to get to the roster in a second. I think they could play up against any team on the West or East Coast. Look at the lineup here, okay? Lowry, Vincent, solid, a solid guard. Shooting guard, Max Drews, hero off the bench. You got Oladipo that's available and a Caleb Martin plus D. Robinson, Remember, my, uh, Moeller is still there. Another three-point gunner who came from Golden State. Small four, you got Jimmy and Caleb. You know, just can step in there once in a while. And then, and then uh, you know, you got Morris and Tucker. Power forward, Tucker. D. Robinson, that's Duncan Robinson that's available from that position as well. Maybe you need a little more size there at the power forward position. That's probably the only deadlock that I see. And then there goes your Stevens from the bench perspective who can play center as well as power four. And you got Bam and, and Deadman in there from a defensive perspective, once again, making this team probably one of the most scary, probably if not the scariest team in the East if they're all going on all cylinders, right? You got Oladipo Hero off the bench, my dudes. Could they could they sneak in Molder into that account? Not sure. Not sure, but this is a... This is a team that's getting prepared to go against anybody, and they have the lineup for anybody. Stepping back again, I'm worried about Brooklyn. I'm worried about any team from, from 8 to 10. This could be a problem and uh, could be a first-round exit. You don't want no smoke with the heat. Let's be honest. Step back. Signing off. Peace.